guys, my name is Jennifer Rowe and either welcome or welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I woke up this morning and I was like, I want to make a video where I don't look like trash the entire time. Because usually during my videos, I look, you know, like my natural self. And then towards the end of the video, when I go to work and stuff, I'm all glammed up. But not this video. I want to be extra for this video. Anyways, this morning I am drinking some kombucha out of this really cute cup my mom got me. I think she got it for Christmas last year. I love kombucha so much. I don't know what's in it, but I feel like it helps with my... Uh, I don't want to reaffirm that I have depression or any of that. I definitely have dips in my mood sometimes and not feeling my greatest. And something about this... I don't know what it is. Automatically puts me in a better mood. Weird. So this morning when I woke up, I decided I was going to sit down and write down some of my goals for this year then i want to break them down into goals for the month and then break them down into goals for a week this last month i hit my new I hit a lot of milestones um and i'm watching some Paige cole on youtube you guys she is so underrated right now on youtube she is so underrated I have been watching this woman for about six months. I've been following her on Instagram. The information that she is putting out here is literally life-changing for the women in our industry. Not just her, but High Vibe Hustler. You guys, go on YouTube and go on High Vibe Hustler. Honestly, to tell you guys, High Vibe Hustler was the one that completely, like, shift my perspective on what it is that I'm doing for a living. I just typed in on YouTube, stripper manifestation, stripper affirmations, and High Vibe Hustler popped up. These women should have like a million subscribers by now. I effing kid you not. It sounds like I'm over exaggerating, but if you take their teachings and you take them seriously, you will see a huge difference in your finances. Guarantee it. <laughs> This month I'll be over, this month is gonna put me over the $300,000 mark for the year, which is so fun, so amazing. That's the most I've ever made so far. All right, Paige Cole made over $300,000 this year. I cannot wait to write down my goals for this year. Um, I find her very inspiring. If you are a dancer, guys, go follow her, go follow her. I'm gonna meditate for a little bit. I have some intention candles and intention oils and things. Let me show you guys really quick what it is that I have. A lot of the things that I have are from a store here in Orlando. It's called Avalon. It's near downtown Orlando. If you are into metaphysical stuff, then maybe it's a place you might wanna check out. If this is the type of spirituality that you're into, I want to sit down and just clear my mind and really just connect with source energy. I've been listening to Florence Scavell. Um, she is a mythical teacher from even before Neville Goddard and she explains this in her book and um, it's something that I believe a lot and she says that the trinkets, uh, the oils, the candles, the incense, these don't have any type of special power in them. It is the belief that you put in them. It is how they make you feel when you use them. That's really helping move everything behind the scenes, okay? So just as a reminder, these are not special mystical um, candles. This is not crazy oil. These are not crazy oils. The reason why this works is because you either A, believe in it so much, or you're putting your intention and focus so much in it that that's what makes everything work. I like to light an incense. And then I also have these candles that I got at Avalon and they come with um, the intentions of the candles on them. This is my cream candle and it says, I willingly let go of my past, anticipating the new path I now embark upon. So that is obviously self-explanatory, just letting go of the past and embracing the future. So green is the color of abundance. And on here it says, I am filled with unlimited abundance of the universe and manifest all that I need. All right, so green is a very, very good color for manifesting abundance. And I have brown. And brown is a very grounding color. Yeah. 
And so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and do this little ritual and then I will get back to you guys later. All right, so I just meditated for probably 10 minutes, not a very long time. I feel amazing. This is something that I need to do a lot more often. I literally just feel at ease. But what I'm gonna do right now is um, just grab my notebook and my pen and write down what it is, because this new year is coming up, what my goals for this year is. So it is actually a fact that if you write your goals down on a piece of paper, there is a much greater chance of you executing that goal. Yeah. So once you write something down, it's basically solidified as long as you have unshakable faith with it. So after I do that, I'm gonna um, work on this a little bit. It's called Magic of Mindset. I recommend this book. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. I actually found this at Five Below and it's basically just a book to help you get unstuck. And then I'm gonna go eat some breakfast because I'm actually pretty hungry right now. It's 11.40, so I guess this could be a lunch. I'm working on building muscle. I've lost a lot of muscle throughout the year just because I haven't been working out like I used to and my, my diet hasn't been up to par. What we're eating right now, let me show you guys. It doesn't look very good, but it tastes pretty yummy. Um, this is some leftover rotisserie chicken um, that I had yesterday with some, basically this is all leftovers. Leftover broccoli with leftover kale salad that came pre-made. Um, the carrots came from the kale salad. I decided to add some apple slices in there. I don't know why, I was just craving that. And then I also added a few cucumber slices in there too. Then I squeezed some lemon juice all over this for the extra vitamin C. And I did um, a little bit of a mayonnaise and sriracha spicy mayo mix. I put it in there. I'm really obsessed with that combination. Also have two hard boiled eggs in here that I have to peel. Throughout my entire life, even from when I was a kid, I have always reached a fitness level, become very comfortable and cocky in the way that I look, start eating my favorite junk foods, start working out less, and then before I know it, over a year or a year and a half, I'm back to square one. And I have done this so many times. The biggest I ever got to was close to 180. My thing is I was still dancing and I never had a fat girl complex. I really didn't. I just, I guess I'm conceited. It must be a Leo thing. But I danced and I remember my, <laughs> I remember at the club that I was working at, my boss basically telling me like, you're getting fat or you are fat or something about like lay off the cheeseburgers or the chicken tenders. I just remember thinking like, you're crazy, I'm hot. And then I would like see videos and pictures of myself and I'd be like, this is what I look like. Like literally the opposite of body dysmorphia. Like I thought I was hotter than I really was, which I see no problem with to be completely honest. I just love food and laying on my ass so much. I love wine, I love cheese, I love bread, I love steak, love lamb, I just love food. Anyways, I, like I said, I have yo-yoed in weight my entire life. It's just a matter of maintaining it to be completely honest. Sometimes I joke around to my boyfriend and I'm like, I cannot wait till I'm done being a dancer so I can turn into a big dat. Cause I'm a bitch. <laughs> To think about not being worried about just like the shape of my body sounds so nice. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna stuff my face with this salad and then I'm gonna down those eggs. And while I let my food kind of just like digest, I'm gonna be doing some house chores. You know, hurry up because I gotta pick up my kids. And once the kids get here, there's no working out. There's no more, literally anything. They're like hanging off of me like, mommy, mommy, I want sandwich. Mommy, I want milk. Mommy, play with me. Mommy, tea party. Mommy, watch me play Nintendo. So, yeah. Because I just had that really big meal, there's no way that I'm gonna start sprinting with my big belly. I gotta mom it up. I gotta clean my son's room, it's pretty bad. It's actually really bad. Looking inside this walk-in closet makes me wanna cry. You know what I want? I want a sound system like all over the apartment so that I could be like, hey Alexa. And then I could just listen to Alexa from anywhere. 
That was a great idea, okay? I'm gonna bring one of the Alexas in here and just like jam out to some music that's gonna like put me in a good mood. His room is actually really cute. His dad did such a good job. His dad did such a good job. sort of like the sims if you've ever played the sims before basically you're not gonna have good relationships unless you pay attention to the people you're gonna be in a bad mood if you don't get rest you're gonna be in a not good mood if your house is dirty with flies everywhere or gnats everywhere I haven't played the sims in a really long time um, I haven't done anything for pure enjoyment in a really long time Natural look like up off the floor and switching. Here we go. finished a workout but my phone just ran out of memory while I was recording it so I need to jump in the shower and get ready really quick because I'm having dinner with the family before work we're gonna go meet some of Tony's family at a restaurant probably not gonna be able to stay there for long because I do plan on working tonight so I'll have to leave early but I'll catch you guys soon so we're on our way to work right now um, I just popped some gas I already drank my Red Bull at home and I found this huge water bottle. I don't know why this brings me a lot of excitement, but it does. Anyways, so yeah, today is Wednesday. I don't know if I've said this before in my vlogs or not, but I prefer to work the slower nights, the slower nights, only because I just don't care for the Friday and Saturday night crowd. Although I did work last Saturday and it's something that I don't regularly do and it was very worth it, very, very worth it. So. I might suck up the fact that I just don't like working Friday and Saturdays and, um, you know, make my money. Alright, so I just got home from work and my family is sleeping, so that's why I'm being super quiet. I've always wanted an adult onesie. Anyways, um, yeah, so I left work early today because, honestly, I just wasn't feeling it. It was kind of annoying because I took Monday and Tuesday off, which I usually work, and then my day coming back to the work week was just not good. 
or at least like not good for me but i'm still always super happy and grateful for everything and anything that i make at work especially because days like today i remind myself that a year ago what i consider to be a bad day now is was a good day back then so we're gonna do a quick money count i have an idea of what it is um but we're gonna do it anyways yeah like that's fine i got a few ones and a few 20s so i'm gonna put these in like stacks That is 101s, right? So 100, and then I have like an extra two, so 102. Right. And we have one, two, three, four, five, 202. One, two, three, four, five, 302. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. It's the least I've made in a really long time, not gonna lie. But um, that's okay. I will be working the rest of the week. <laughs> um, that's what I get for leaving early. I didn't even eat. I didn't even hit four hundred. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Having a Christmas party this weekend, and I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing. So if you guys want to watch that, make sure you subscribe. If you made it this far, I love you. Bye.